Hey guys, today I have the pleasure of unboxing and reviewing this LG 32 inch 4K monitor. But what's better than one monitor? Two monitors. I paid $600 Canadian for each screen, which is about 450 American and a pretty good price. Basically all you're getting here is an awesome display. No bells, no whistles, no USB ports for webcams and keyboards, and a very basic speaker setup. The links for this product are in the description below and at newfieboard.com. So let's have a quick look at the specs for this 32UD59-B LED monitor. So like I said, it's a 4K display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. The UHD simply means ultra high definition, which is another way of indicating it's 4K or four times the resolution of a regular HD monitor. AMD FreeSync means the monitor can utilize FreeSync with any compatible AMD Radeon graphics card. To take advantage of FreeSync, you need to have a display port on your graphics card. Basically, it ensures a smooth image so that your graphics card will dictate the refresh rate and not the monitor. It will help diminish any risk of a choppy or torn image. Stereo speakers are included with this monitor, so we'll do a quick test of that later. Next, we have the adjustable height, but I wonder about the swiveling and rotation. It seems like the monitor moves up and down on the stand, but it doesn't swivel back and forth or rotate. No big deal, because I can swivel it by moving the stand, and I'll be using it in landscape orientation all of the time. A response time of 5 milliseconds and a refresh rate of 60 megahertz. A contrast ratio of 3000 to 1. A split screen feature which allows you to place your windows in any quadrant or anywhere on the screen. I installed their on-screen control app where you can select the split screen or picture in picture you desire but I found it too limiting for my purposes and within a few minutes I had uninstalled it. Two HDMI ports and one display port. Don't expect to get the full 32 inches with this monitor. The actual diagonal is 31.5 and they rounded that up to 32. Handling guide and the factory collaboration sheet showing the results of the color setup for quality assurance. Power brick, power cord and the plug is on a 90 degree angle so it stays flush with your wall. A stand clip for cable management. Display port cable, HDMI cable, graphics card requirements, easy setup guide. The owner's manual is on the CD with the drivers. Here we have the stand, it has a bit of a brushed finish to it, rubber feet, a screw on the bottom for putting it onto the monitor. Pretty lightweight, but uh, let's see if it does the trick. Looks like another piece of the stand. Has a nice finish to it, feels like it's metal, pretty good quality. Alright, so here we have the screen, I'm going to lay it face down. So I can attach it to the stand. The stand just fits easily into the back. Wow, that's huge. Pretty fantastic. I like the border here where it's very thin. It gives me maximum amount of real estate. With, so when I put these monitors next to each other, I don't have much of a space there. That's a huge plus in my books. I really like that. There's a little bit of a glossy surface, which is going to show some dust and cat fur, which is okay, no big deal. The stand has a place here for the clip. That clips onto the back like that, which is fantastic for cable management. Pretty simple design, I like it. The power button is actually located right here underneath the LG logo and it pushes for power and it goes back and forth up and down like a joystick which controls the on-screen menu. So the screen height is adjustable, it's very nice. The tilt is good. It does not seem to rotate very far, just a little, just to get your monitors balanced with each other. So if you have two, let's have a quick look at the back here so you can see where the ports are. Right here is the 
the two HDMI and the DisplayPort. You have a headphone jack and here you have the power supply plugs in right here. So let's get this plugged in and see how much electricity it uses. When it's off the power consumption is minimal at 0.1 watt. When it's on but no input it hovers around 42 watts. And finally when watching HD video at 4K it stays around the 45 watt range. So let's do a quick shake test. Not too bad, the monitor stand does provide some stability, but there is also a little bit of shake, not too worried about it, I'm using it on my desk, it'll be nice and sturdy. Let's talk a little bit more about FreeSync. We need to enable it both on the computer and the monitor. So to enable the AMD FreeSync on the monitor, push the power button and then move the joystick towards you to select Game. Move the joystick to the right to select Free Sync tab and then pull the joystick towards you to enter the options and select Basic. The monitor may flicker here, that's normal, and then to exit the menu, select Close. To enable the AMD Free Sync in the AMD Radeon software, right click on the desktop and open up the Radeon settings. On the Display tab, click AMD Free Sync to On. I'm using a Radeon RX 470 here in this example. FreeSync needs Direct 9 or higher, and your game or application needs to be running in exclusive full screen mode in order to get proper 4K. This is usually done by pressing Alt and Enter. To check which version of DirectX you are running, open up the command prompt and type in DXDIAG. I've downloaded some 4K footage, so let's put the screen to the test. As expected, the colors are fantastic, the 4K video is better than I could have ever expected. I definitely made the right choice here. So let's try running 4K on both monitors at the same time. Here we have two 4K feeds, both playing at the same time. Again, no issues and a beautiful picture. Let's have a listen to the sound quality coming through the monitor. Not too bad, not perfect for my sound. I'm using a Sony receiver, which I'll continue to use, and I'll put the monitors on mute. To prevent the sound from coming through your monitors, you need to disable that sound option. And this is done under the properties in your volume mixer. In summary, there are just a few things I disliked about the physical appearance of the monitors and the speakers, but that doesn't bother me enough to really matter. I bought this for the 4K abilities and the picture is perfect and I'm totally comfortable recommending this monitor. If you found this unboxing and review helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And you can also get more information on this product at newfieboard.com and that's in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to check out more of my techie videos.